An independent medical examiner who did an autopsy on Michael Brown, the young man who was killed by police in Ferguson, Missouri, has determined, in his expert opinion, no struggle took place between him and the police officer. Now, this contradicts the story given by the police officer who claims that Brown had gone for his gun and thus requiring him to defend himself against the set assailant. Michael Baden and Sean Parcells did the examination of the young man and did determine this. They also determined, in finally, that he was shot exactly six times. Dr. Baden and I concluded that he was shot at least six times. We've got one to the very top of the head, the apex. We've got one that entered just above the right eyebrow. We've got one that entered the top part of the right arm. We've got a graze wound, a superficial graze wound, to the middle part of the right arm. We've got a wound that entered the medial aspect of the right arm. And we've got a deep graze wound that produced a laceration to the palm of the right hand. Federal investigators said they will also be performing their own autopsy when the investigation begins. Meanwhile, the independent one who just did this examination said there were no signs of bruising or any such kind of injuries that you would find if you were engaged in a struggle for your life. The police officer does say that he tried to force and did force the young man into a car, yet he says that there is no evidence that that actually took place. There were no injuries showing any kind of struggle whatsoever. The lawyer speaking for the family, Mr. Parks, said that this corroborates what the witnesses say, that he was in the process of surrendering when he was shot. It says that this, combined with what the witnesses say, is enough to actually have the police officer who killed this young man charged, or at the very least, arrested. This is a tremendous amount of evidence. When you combine the fact that it appears that the officer lied in his report, the suspect was unarmed and the medical examiner corroborates what the witnesses say this is certainly enough to place that officer under arrest and charge him but we know that's not going to happen very likely this officer will remain hidden by the government until federal officials want to question him and then they will decide whether or not they're going to press charges against him and that's what's really going to happen but, I mean, this does tell us something very important. The original medical examiner, the one by the county, determined that the police officer's story was true, yet this other medical examiner, an independent one, determined otherwise. And I think this does adequately show that you cannot rely on that same system to bring you justice from the people who are from that same system. I mean, I think, at least in my opinion, this demonstrates at least some level of conspiracy to cover up the murder of this young man, all in an effort to try to keep the public quiet or to at least avoid any kind of legal liability. And I think this does show that this same power structure cannot be relied on to criticize itself. And in fact, the people, the people of Ferguson, the many other people who've been victimized by the same police force are very right to rebel. And frankly, it's probably very necessary that they replace that same system that can't help them. Thank you for watching. Please comment and rate the video. If you liked it, hit subscribe or check out some of these other great videos. If you wish, share it on social media. And while you're at it, why don't you follow me on Twitter? And if you got time, go on over to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available.